Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Today we have the Blue Eddy EB3A portable power station. This is the smallest portable power station, U UPS portable power station. So you can actually plug this to AC and when the power goes off, it will automatically switch to your portable power station and you won't run out of power. So if you have like a refrigerator, I've seen people use this on fish tanks. If you have like a fish tank, aquarium, something that you just absolutely cannot afford to let lose power. Plug one of these bad boys in and you don't have to worry about power outages. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So this is a Blue Eddy EB3A. Get this out. Really nicely packed as usual. You got your manual right here. And let's get this out of the box. There it is. Okay, guys, there it is the Blue Eddy EB3A. Guys, this thing is lightweight. We're talking about only 10 pounds, and it has this awesome handle on the top. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, guys, let's take a closer look at the top. You can see the handle I was talking about. You just flip this up right here. So you can carry this around 10 pounds. Anyone can carry this. So on the top right here, you have a wireless charger. Even with the case on my phone, check this out. I'll just put my phone right here. And look, it starts charging. So that comes real handy if you uh, go take going out somewhere and you just want to charge your cell phone. Just lay it on top. You got your music playing. No, you don't have to plug anything in. You have output cigarette lighter style plug right here. Two 12 volt, 10 amps barrel ports. That's how you turn on your DC and on and off right here. Has a really bright display up front and now it actually shows time. So you get, you get a, a time display right here. So this says 30 hours. It, should, it would last up to 30 hours. Your output and input. So you could actually charge this from solar and AC at the same time. Right here, you have a nice light. Push it one time, comes on. Brighter, goes into strobe, and then off. Down here, you have two 600 watt AC, 120 volt plug. That's where you turn your AC on and off. This is where you charge it, guys. No more charging brick. Just plug directly into the portable power station. No more charging brick. Input for 12 to 28 volt DC charging, 8.5 amps. Circuit breaker right here. That's it, real simple. Guys, we're gonna do some quick test on this thing. Like I told you, lithium ion phosphate battery in this. Guys, one thing I wanna point out to you, a lot of people are <laughs> miss not finding their um, charge cable. It's actually on the bottom. Just pull this off and there's a little box under there. Grab this and look, your charge cable. It comes with the AC charge cable. I'll show you where to plug that in. Mine actually came with a AC charger. You got to buy this separately. You can actually plug your MC4 directly into your solar panel. So this would actually plug in right here and you can use any solar panel as long as it's between 12 volts and 28 volts just your ac charger it just plugs right into the right here plug it like this and it starts charging no more brick okay they said this thing has a pure sine wave inverter let's check it out i have my oscilloscope right here i'm going to plug it into the ac i'm going to plug it in right here there you go. Turn the AC on. Yes, it's a pure sine wave. Got a little disturbance right here. It does have a pure sine wave. Blue Eddy EB3A. Right there on the oscilloscope. You can see that. All right. One thing you can do with this is come to the app and you can control it with the app. All right. Connect. Scanning. 
on this one. There you go, it's found it. Go ahead and connect to it. Okay. You see right it's at 99%. The app says it's at 99%. Zero AC going out. Okay, it comes in three modes of charging. You can see right here, standard, silent, and turbo. In standard mode, it will charge in two hours. In turbo mode, it will charge in 40 minutes. And in silent mode, it goes in a little longer, but um, there's no fan, so it's real silent. That's where most people are probably gonna use it if they're inside their uh, home or apartment or camping. If you really wanna get this thing charging and move along, you put it in turbo mode, you'll get up to 400 watts. In 40 minutes solar it only goes up to 200 watts and it takes about 2.5 hours to charge in solar all right it will charge with 12 volts and 24 volts okay guys so i have a small mini fridge and a small deep freezer it's rated for it says on the, the manual it will run a small mini fridge and a small deep freezer let's try them out let's tr let's start with a deep freezer so we have this on Turn on the AC. The AC is on. Let's come down here and turn that on. There you go. See, it jumped up to 851 watts. It will surge up to 1200 watts, guys. And it's pulling 123, 100, 138 watts. So the Blue Eddy EB3A will run your small deep freezer. And remember, it will do this with UPS feature also. So you can plug your uh, AC in, plug your deep freezer into the Blue Eddy, and then once the power goes off, boom, your fridge will keep running. Let's go ahead and disconnect the deep freezer and try the small mini fridge. Let's turn that off. Okay, now we have the mini fridge connected to the Blue Eddy. Let's go ahead and fire it up and see what it pulls. Let's see if I can get this for you guys. Stay right here. You can see the power output. I'm going to turn it on right now. Search is up to about 600 and still pulling. Oh, it went all the way up. 590, 588. Pulls a little more power on this one. Okay, guys, you can see the refrigerator. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's running. And it's pulling right at 115 watts. So a small mini fridge with this thing right here is perfect. That's all you want to run is a mini fridge. There you go. It's pulling right about 115 watts. It started up there at 600 and then it goes down to about 115. It'll run that for two and a half hours. So there you go, guys. Blue Eddy EB 3A. Guys, if you like this review of the Blue Eddy EB3A, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and push that subscribe button. Guys, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.